So we're going to take a look at the small apartment building today. It's the version with the old couple in the top and there is the sun in the bottom as well. Now you can get this location very early in playthroughs and what I usually do is just go with one lockpick on the first visit because um, when you get it early in a playthrough your need tends to be meds and food and um, this will provide uh, med and food meds and food but it's um, you'll be full by the time you get those two things so i'd only take the one lock pick however if you want the full complement of what you might need you would take two lock picks and a shovel and let's go so what i'm just going to do at first is drop one of the lock picks here actually no i'll carry the lock pick i'm just going to drop the um shovel there because i might need the room okay so when you first get here if um as I said, if you're early in the game and your need is for food and for meds, you come in here. Now the sun is here and it's a four story building and the sun sticks to the bottom two floors, unless he's hunting you, in which case he comes up. These two rooms are safe. Nobody comes in here. You look through here and you see where the old couple inhabit. Now this is their um, bedroom and they tend to path this way. And uh, this is the woman, I think. So as you look through here, um, she will basically look out this window and then she can path into here. Now, if she's in here, she's invisible. So that's something you've got to be wary of, that if you look out here and you don't see anybody and she's in here, she's invisible, you can't see her. So more than once I've come out of here and then she's appeared here. And as soon as um, they see you immediately. So what you can do is hope that the old couple path in such a way that you've got time to sneak here, grab this pile, up here, up here where you've got a lockpick requirement, grab the meds and then out. Now it's very rare that you can actually get to this box and to this box without getting detected. Most of the time you get detected. But that's not a problem because um, you can actually run from here into here, grab this and then run out, even if you're detected straight away, because all these two do is run to tell their son and then he starts hunting you. Now, what I tend to do is wait till he's at the bottom of the house, because then it takes them longer to go tell him. For example, shh, I'll probably lose, out of, lose patience now and just say, oh, what the hell, and just run. So I only want two boxes tonight, so all I'm going to do because the sun's in the bottom of the house, it's going to take them a lot longer to get to him. So I've got time to do this. So there's our meds. Now just run. So here's the sun now, but we've got time to get this box and just get out of there and run. And he says, this is our place, leave. So we've got what we wanted that way. So that's the way I usually do it. And once you get to here beyond this table, um, he won't uh, bother you here. So you're kind of out of his range. Now, if you hang around too long, he arms up and whips out a gun and uh, you start to get shot. So what we can do is just um, drop everything here. So I brought two lockpicks because there is another locked box here. So sometimes if you're lucky and you can sneak up and grab everything um, using sneak, then you can also get to this as well. So if he's standing here, you do have the option to come through this door. And if there's nobody around here, for example, and then jump up. But if you jump up or down here and he's right there, he'll hear you. And then he's alerted. So you've got an option here. Um, he's not going to come out. So you could, for example, grab this pile. Let's just grab the shovel anyway. You could grab this pile and just bring it down here for later. You could also jump in and just grab this pile as well. Be a little bit cheeky there. But um, yeah, you've got time to do that. But anyway, let's just dig through here. Because he doesn't come down here. So they're all kind of running around there at the moment which gives us time to just to dig here and look into these two piles because there can be food here. And again, if you're early game, you want food and meds. And if you can find food in one of these piles, 
So that's what you've got there, your tobacco leaf battery. So then you've got this pile. I don't think he comes out of this door. I've never seen him come out of this door, unless we run through it. Um, but no, no food there. Sometimes you can find a couple of cans of food there. So it really depends how much food you find upstairs, I think. How much did we find? Oh, we got four cans upstairs. Sometimes, if, you, if you've got a, a fewer number of cans upstairs, um, sometimes you find that the cans are here. But anyway, downstairs, um, once you've dug through this pile, it's getting a bit late now, but you can look through here. Now, as mentioned, the sun paths around here, which allows you, so for example, he's coming down here and it comes through this door up the ladder. And once he's up the ladder and facing this way, then you can sneak in here. There are a couple of piles you can grab here, but nothing valuable. So not really of great import to go through this door and grab these piles given the difficulty. So these are the main ones just in case you don't get a full complement of food in the upper ones. But anyway, let's have another look at this. Right back again. I don't have a shovel because um, I'm not going to do this part. So this is the way I usually do it. Just basically go in here. Okay, he's always there. Go up here and see if just see if the sneak option is available. It depends on their movements. So I can't see anybody. Is somebody in there? I don't know. Here, I think you just need to wait just in case there is somebody there. If there were, she'd have come out by now. So this does give you the sneak option, in which case you can do this. Let's see if the time to close this door this time. I should get into the habit of closing that door every time because then I won't be detected at the top here. But so often one of these comes out before you get a chance to get out of here anyway. So I'd say this is uh, pretty lucky in being able to get this far while they're both in their bedroom. It may even be that we can get to the locked box over there. Let's see. So if we close all the doors, let's see if we get lucky here. Yeah, enough sleeping, one of them's coming. Yeah, I think that's probably about as lucky as you can be right there. So now we've got the two valuable piles. Um, so one of them's coming, so they'll... Let's see if it's the guy or the woman. It's the woman. All right, so she comes up. Sun's back. So we can go over here. So now we get to see what's in this box as well. So here you can prioritize and decide what you want and what you like the most. So you might want to give that up and go for a gun. But now you're in this situation where you can't drop down because he'll hear you. So if you want to stay undetected, you've got to wait till he moves. Sometimes the sneak option is just impossible. Um, I came here one time and, um, oh, she's going in there now and the sun's moved. So this gives us a chance to drop down. Now we can close this door. So now we've gone the whole way without being detected. So nobody's aware of our presence. And, um, oh, hang on. It sounded like a, it was a bit quick, but anyway. I'm not sure if we got detected there or not. Let's have a look. Um, but anyway, let's just drop everything we got. So obviously if we had a shovel we could do that but um and i think i've got a feeling that if we don't see four cans here that there's going to be two cans in one of these piles 
just a gut feeling. I don't have a shovel to test that at the moment, but um, I think you get four, and two of them might be in this pile. But anyway, so we haven't been detected, so we're in this position where, um, again, it's only 120. And we've got time to make wait until these guys are out of the way. That's the sun, so we did get detected. The only reason he would be up here is if he was looking for us. Anyway, now we can grab this pile. And get out, close the door, and we're good. Alright, one more time. Right back again. I did bring a shovel this time, because I want to see if it really is the case that if you only get two food at the top, that there is a piece of food in one of these piles. Alright, so the woman's sitting down, the guy is up here. Their pathing seems to be completely independent. So for example, it could you could stand here all night and uh, one of them's out here and as one goes in, the other one comes out and you're in that situation. So it's impossible not to be detected. If they're both out when we arrive, it kind of suggests we might get lucky, and that we might both go in at the same time. But you're very often in this situation where you could be waiting a long time to see if you can get in and out without being detected. But while the sun is there, it's not worth it anyway. So as mentioned before, I think, um, if you make a run for it, he detects you. But if he's down here and you make a run for it, you've got time, because by the time they get downstairs to alert him, and you're good. So I think that's pretty lucky timing again, and he's on the move as well. Oh, I'm just gonna close this. Bad habit leaving that open. So I think that gives us time again to... Hang on, how much food was that? Three. So again, that's all the valuable stuff. It's just a question of can you get here before one of them comes out. Well, I can't sit forever, so they're on their way. So again, that's a little bit lucky. You can't always do this. Which gives you a chance to open this box. All right, well, we're just going to make a run for it anyway, even if we are detected. I just want to see if there's a can down here. Didn't think he jumped down here, but oh, this is our place, Lee. All right. Um, just keep your distance, okay? All right, so that allows us to keep digging. Yep, there it is there. So that seems to be that you do get four cans here, and one or two of the cans can be down here which suggests it's either worth hand digging through these if you don't have a shovel or bringing a shovel and digging through. Okay, well, um, I think that covers the small apartment build. Hopefully that was useful and uh, thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time. Bye.